tutorial you are going to make a ghost portrait. So the image you need to open as a smart object is a profile shot. Um, you're going to duplicate that layer by going Command J or you can go Layer Duplicate Layer. Command J is a bit quicker. And with the copy of that layer, right click on it. So Command click, oh, sorry, Control click and um, convert it to a smart object. Okay. Now, first step is to go into filter, go into blur, motion blur, and just set the distance to, for, for your images, because they're quite big, it might be up around the 1500 mark, I'm going to set mine to around 300. And click OK when you're done. Add a layer mask to that layer. And get your paintbrush. Make sure the opacity is set to 40% or thereabouts. And that the mode is normal. And that the hardness is at 0%. Okay, now we're going to selectively reveal some of the image underneath. And I don't really want to get the outlines because I want to make it look like she's... She's very ghosty. That'll do. And now I'm going to right click again on that layer, so control click and convert it to a smart object. Okay. Now in filter, I'm going to go filter, uh, filter gallery, and play around with these. I'll have the graininess at about three because your images are bigger you might need to increase the graininess slightly. Um, I have the glow amount around there and the clear amount around there. Again you'll be able to preview this so just play around with it until it looks okay. All right. Now we're going to add a hue saturation layer like you did when you were changing the eye colour in the colour replacement tutorial. So click on that little half circle in the layers panel and select hue saturation, check colourize and just find a hue that you're happy with and decrease the saturation slightly. So give it that nice um, Victorian old photo effect. Okay, once you've done that, I want you to open a rough texture as a smart object. So go File, Open a Smart Object and open it. And then go to Layer, Duplicate Layer and we're going to send that over to the portrait. Get up your Transform tool by going Command T and just position it on top of layer and um, in your layers panel just click and drag it so it's underneath the hue and saturation layer and select color burn. Now we're going to decrease the opacity of that texture so just slide it down until it's got a there's a little bit of texture but it's not too invasive. I'll leave it at that. Once you're done, go File, Save As, and save it as Ghost and Your Name. And in the drop down menu, select JPEG as the format. And then that is ready to submit.